Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Today I'm going to be speaking super fast because we got a super fast door for you. Oh no. Hello viewers of this video and welcome back to the Redstone Innovation Channel. Today we've got a super speedy, super awesome 3x3 for you guys. Let's check it out. After this opens. Yeah boy. Click on the info card. So here, oh, yeah. Yeah, so here, oh, yeah. So here, sorry. <laughs> you better be sorry. So here is our new three x three. It might look exactly the same as the other one, and it's in the exact same location. But this one's like a lot faster. Whoa! It takes three ticks to open, but it instantly opens up a 2x1 right in the middle. Instantly. You heard that right. Zero latency. As soon as you touch that pressure plate, it opens it up and you can run straight through. Plus, it's spam proof, and the swag factory is just off the charts. So this one isn't quite as compact as our other one, but it's still very compact. So let's have a take- let's have a take a look at that wiring. Uh, oh. Alright, so here's all the wiring above ground. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than our other 3x3 designs, but uh, it makes up for it by being super, super fast. 3 fast 5U. As you can see, it's very convoluted. Uh, it's basically all pistons, and uh, but don't worry, I'll show you how to build it, and it'll be awesome. Now, as I was explaining before, there's actually a 2x1 entrance that opens instantly from the very first moment you power this door. And that makes it so you can actually run through the door with a speed 2 potion and it won't catch you at all. So let me just go ahead and grab a speed 2 potion. As you can see I have speed 2. And now I'm gonna sprint through this door and you'll see I won't even touch it. Now before I build this I do want to give a shout out to Deco the Redstoner. Uh, link down in the description for coming up with the idea for this and the piston layout for this. Uh, we just came up with a slightly smaller uh, circuit design. If you remember from a couple weeks back, we had a more compact uh, 3x3 that was faster than the typical 3x3 uh, with the double extend from the top. Um, and you can see that this new door doesn't even compare to the speed of this one. So here's the old door opening to show a bit of a comparison. Now if you watch carefully, these three blocks right here actually switch while the door uh, operates, which is really interesting. Let me just show that real quick. In fact, you know what? This door operates so awesomely, I'm going to take you offline and give you a couple slow-mos showing you how it works. Before I did mention that this door is spam proof, and uh, as is, this circuit is very hard to spam and break. Uh, so you can like flip this lever really fast, and you can see it's not going to do anything, it's still going to work. There we go. But if you give it a 4 tick pulse, it will break it. Of course you can fix it, you just have to move this redstone block manually. Then you go ahead and run it a couple times and it'll fix itself. So over here we came up with a completely spam proof system uh, that is powered by pressure flates, pressure flates, which I'll show you how to build at the end. So yeah, let's get started and stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is decide where we want our 3x3 door frame to be. Uh, so I'm going to build it two blocks up, um, going up like this. Perfect. Uh, before we go any farther, I do want to note that this is very advanced redstone, and uh, it might not work for you the first time. So go ahead and like watch this video like five times, make sure everything is exactly correct. It does work as of right now, 1.9. Don't get frustrated because this is advanced redstone. Okay, so starting from the bottom left piston, we're going to go ahead and build a double extender. And then for the middle block, we'll put the piston right there. And coming off to the left over here, we're going to build one piston right there, and then another double extender for that middle side block. 
Coming up to the top, we're going to have two downwards facing pistons right there. And then off to the right, we're going to go ahead and build three vertical pistons just like that. So we're going to start off with our input block, which is right here. Go ahead and place a block there and then a lever on it. Then from this block, we're going to have a sticky piston facing downwards uh, with a block in front. Go ahead and cut out these two blocks and place a torch right there. So when this piston is powered, it's going to conduct this torch into redstone right there, leading up right there into a block. <coughs> from this block, it's going to lead into another sticky piston right there with a block in front. That block is going to conduct this torch right here um, into redstone right there. This redstone is going to lead back, over, and up on this side. Come back around to the front, and we're going to cut out these two blocks here. Go ahead and place a lever on this, flipped on, and then a repeater in front. Then go around to the back once again. Go ahead and cut out these two blocks. Uh, step down into this ditch and place a sticky piston facing downwards uh, with a block in front. So when this piston is depowered, it's going to power this redstone right here, uh, which is going to go over into this block with a torch on the side. Now we're going to go off to this side and take this redstone, lead it into a repeater right there. That's going to have a block in front with a torch on top, a block above that, and then we're going to lead redstone going up to these upper pistons. We're going to lead this redstone going up, and on this side it's going to go all the way over to this farther piston, into this block. Then go up and around, uh, and this redstone will go into this closer piston right there. On the other side of this block, we're going to have a sticky piston right there with a block in front, and then we'll connect to this later, uh, starting from the bottom. I guess before we get started with that down there, uh, let's just go ahead and place that block back. Alright! So, when this block is down here, it's also going to power that torch into this piston right there with a block in front. Cut out those two blocks and go ahead and place a torch right there. And when this block is over here, it's going to conduct that redstone right there. And then we're going to lead this redstone all the way to the top, and I'll show you how. Then, based off of that redstone tower, we're going to build the rest of our redstone wiring, which is basically a bunch of pistons. And it's going to be a fun time. So the first thing I'd do is I'd probably build a tower going straight up here, uh, going all the way to the top of here, and then one block up. Maybe another one. I'll just leave it there. Then from this tower, we're going to be able to more easily place our half slabs. Uh, from this piece of redstone here, we're going to lead this over and up into half slab, up into another half slab right there. So up one over there and then over two to the left. Then that's going to lead over itself up there. And then back over behind that piston right there. It's going to go up one more time right there. And then it's going to lead back over itself right there. Finally, this piece of redstone is just going to lead into a block right there. Then we can go into here and delete our tower that we built. And here is where the redstone wiring gets really tricky, so watch carefully. Right next to this lower piston right here, we're going to place a sticky piston facing downwards with a block in front. Then we're going to place a block here and a block here, both with redstone on top. Then on top of this piece of redstone right here, we're going to try and place a sticky piston facing towards us right there uh, with a block of redstone in front. Go ahead and leave this block you placed right there. Uh, and place a sticky piston on top of it right there uh, with a block of redstone in front. Then you can go ahead and cut that out. Then once again, going around to the back, let's go ahead and place a regular piston right there. And that'll have a block on top with redstone on top of that. Now we don't want this piece of redstone pointing to that piston right there. So let's go ahead and place a block there and use a tripwire hook to point it away from that. Then going around to the top, uh, we don't want this piece of redstone facing that way. So let's go ahead and place a block there with a tripwire hook uh, right there. Now we're almost there, so like stick with me through this. Uh, let's go back around to the front and then stand on this middle block right here. Uh, place a regular piston facing that way right there. Then underneath that, place a sticky piston facing towards the right uh, with a block of redstone in front and a dot of redstone on top of that block right there. Uh, this block of redstone, when it's right here, will go ahead and power a powered rail right there. And then this powered rail is going to go ahead and power a sticky piston facing downwards right there with a block in front. Then finally right here, we're going to place a block with redstone on top, block it off so it forms a dot. Then go underneath it and place a lever right there powered on uh, so that redstone is powered. So when you're facing it from the front, right on top of this redstone block right here, go ahead and place a furnace. And then behind it, a comparator right there 
And inside this furnace, we're going to place one of any block. So I'm just going to use a uh, grass block, and that'll just do fine. That should go ahead and light up that comparator and leave it on. So after you got that, that should be it. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Go ahead and flip your lever, and it should close up just like that. Um, depower it, and before a blink, it should be open. Uh, let's just go ahead and fill it in real fast, so let me close it up. And we're gonna fill in all those blocks around here. Make it look a little nicer. And yeah, then going around to the back, let's go ahead and place blocks all up around here. Don't forget the corners. And place there, place there. Uh, you cannot place a block here though, that will cut off that redstone, but it's okay, because your floor will go across like that. Let's go ahead and try it out. Sweet. Sweet. Now thank you for joining us today on this very weird 3x3. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. But before we go, I'm going to show you how to build the spam proof circuit that we have. Um, and that'll be real fast and then I'll let you guys go. Class dismissed. <clears throat> Alright, so my thought is that if you're going to be building this spam proof circuit, it should be simple enough to build just by looking at it. Uh, these two are sticky pistons. This repeater faces away from me currently, and these two blocks need to be half slabs. But basically, your input's going to go into this block right there, and then the output is going to come right there and lead right into your input there. And you can use a lever, you can use a button, you can use pressure plates. We recommend pressure plates because it just makes the whole thing easier. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. Works a bit like that. Alright, so we're done. Uh, leave a thumbs up for super fast doors. This has been the Redstone Innovation Channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to check out our past stuff, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that cool stuff. And we'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Yay! Brilliant. It's all ogre now. <laughs> okay. <laughs>